Good morning, gang. Now, for a close beady eye, as any of you have seen my other videos, you may recognise this caravan. Now, this is the job that we repointed the patio out the back um, and connected a little bit of drainage in. We are back, repeat client. Um, they was happy with what I did the first time out the back. Now they basically want to extend the driveway across. So at the minute, we're gonna take up all the, uh, this edging border, and that is gonna come to this side of this little planting area. It's about 1100 wide, uh, about seven meters long. So we're gonna get it dug out and the skips here. And what I said about in my last video about working efficient. Now my skip is here and the tight ones here so what that means is is i ain't got to worry about having two separate deliveries i've got the tight one put in the skip and had the skip delivered so now that saves messing around i ain't got to go and pick up any tight one me uh sharp sands in the back of the van so effectively i've got to empty this skip do the dig out put all the dig out in the skip and then uh, put the membrane down and then the tight one from there goes in the dig out, compacted down like a whack plate and then the sand that's in the van on top. And then tomorrow that'll leave block paving and then brushing in all the kiln sand and that'll be job complete. Two days, working efficient and uh, getting everything prepped is key. Well, you can see the sweat dripping off of me. Oh, I am soaked. Um, but it's all dug out. Dug out. 100 mil tight one in there. Or like recycled tight one. I find with all the fines, um, it's a lot better when it's compact down. But yeah, so I'm going to go off and pick the wacker plate up now. I've got the sand in the van. Um, yeah, go and pick the wack plate up. I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna compact all this, and we're gonna get the sand in and get all that compact, um, and then go and pick up the block pavers. So yeah, we are making progress. It's all about working efficient. You hear that word a lot in my videos. Like I said, getting everything, this all comes with experience. Like years ago, I would have just ordered a skip here and got it dug out and then I've been waiting around for tight one to come on a delivery same with the sand but got the tight one inside the skip and dropped off with the skip and then I picked up the sand this morning so everything's here um little kinds of experience and uh forward planning but once you get good at that everything works efficiently so yeah I'm gonna go off pick up the whack plate and then I'll be back and uh you'll see me doing the old whacking Right, so I'm back with a whacker, got the tight one in there before I went, tight one got whacked, sand's in and the sand's whacked. So now I'm going to go and pick up the block paving. Um, and then that'll be me done for today. And uh, yeah, be back here in the morning and um, yeah, get the block paving in, get the, well get the sand all screened off, I might pick up a couple of small bags of sand just in case. Um, we need a bit here and there, but um, yeah, pick up block paving, pick up the sand, pick up some kiln dry sand, and uh, and yeah, we'll be back here in the morning to complete. So yeah, have a good evening, guys. <laughs> See you tomorrow. So another one, another job done. The uh, just extended their driveway across with uh, a brindle block paving. Um, so yeah, just going to knock on the client's door now and make sure they're happy with everything. Had a good old sweep up, everything's in the skip, all nice and tidy. Leaving everything tidy is uh, is paramount. You really need to leave everything tidy if you want repeat custom. Being tidy with your work and then especially to clear up at the end. Leave it immaculate and uh, that's good practice. But yeah, anyway guys, another one done. I'll put the uh, before, during and after pictures on. And yeah, 
you'll see me on the next one. Take care, guys.